Hi YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So carrying on with the quick vids for the MB4 Plus. We're going to have a look at a menu that confuses the hell out of a lot of people. So this is the assignments menu. Now, depending on other functions you have set up, depends on what options you have in the assignment menu. It also depends on whether you're looking at a trigger, um, so a button or an actual variable di variable dial. So, when we actually go in to a switch or a dial, we will have different options depending on whether it's a switch or a dial. You've also got the option of turn or trigger. If you press trigger, it will be a momentary press of the button that will trigger whatever is happening. If you have it selected to turn, it will be an on or off each time you press the button. So if we assigned it to a channel, we'll then be able to press the actual button and it'll move the channel. So if we go to, let's see if I've got it set on a quick menu anyway. Yeah. So every time I press it, it moves the channel to its extremes. Whereas if we go in and we set it to trigger, and then if I press it and hold it, it'll move it. When I let go, it'll go back. So that's if you have it set to a channel. We've also got all the different functions so if we had it set to steering dual rate and, e and expo every time we press it it would turn the dual rate and expo on and off whereas if we go to an actual variable pot or a dial we can change what these do if we leave it set on normal when we go to the function if we go to let's say steering dual rate if we set it to that, it won't turn the dual rate on or off, but it'll adjust the dual rate. But same on this, we could set it to channel 3. And then we've got an adjustable channel 3. So if you wanted to assign that to rear steering, but you can also go in and... If we change it to a two position and then channel three. So at a certain point, it'll switch to its opposite position. If we go back in, change it to a three position, channel three. So we've then got center as an option, plus both directions. So the assignment menu is pretty powerful. You can also reverse the direction of what the dial actually runs at. Or we can set it back to normal. And then if you assign it to any of the actual functions, as a general rule of thumb, if it's a dial, you'll get adjustability of the function you set it to. If it's a button, it will turn the function on off. But there are lots of other options in here. We can go in and we can see all the key assignments and all the triggers and dials that are listed. So whether it's a switch, a variable pot, or a trim. And you can see what options you've got listed. You can then go into it and see what the channels are actually doing. Center point, center point. If you back out, you're back to the list. If you back out, you're back to main screen. You have got the option of resetting to default, which is good if you start messing around with all your trims and then you don't know what you've done. You can just wipe it, set everything back to uh, stock. But it's a very good way of setting up the actual transmitter itself. You've got a few variations with these two buttons at the top. 
So we can have this set as we've got it now to just a uh, separate type. Each one of these little paddles does a different function or you can set it to be the same button. So it's sort of one side of it, one side goes one way, one side goes other. We can also change it to two position or three position switch. So we can assign to channel three as a three position. And then if we come out, as we press these, you can see what it does. They're working as one actual switch, but you could use that for a winch. Quite surprised they haven't put momentary on this because that were one of the big things. There is a mix you can do to make these momentary. But I'm surprised we didn't get the option on the plus to actually have these work as a momentary switch. I've not found any way to do it. We've just got working as a separate button or working combined. But you can change the steps that it moves in when you've got it set in combined. So you can have it as rear steer so you press and hold it longer and it'll move further. But yeah, I'm surprised we haven't got the uh, momentary option that the Pro got. It does make setting up a winch on these a lot easier. But just to quickly cover it and show you there is lots of diff different options. And like with these top hats, how they set for steering trim and throttle trim, you can come in here and change them. You can reassign them. You can have anything else set as your trim or you can have just trim in your menus and you can use all these buttons. There is lots and lots of options. Every one of them has got the option to reset. You can change these steps if it's one of the uh, sort of button types. We can change the steps. If it's a dial, you can change the steps. Um, but yeah, quite a lot of options in the assignment menu, but this is just to give you an idea of what the actual functionality is and what you can do with it. But thanks again for watching WTFRC Cars. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Share to friends and family. And uh, catch you guys again in the next one.